Hey there guys, it's me, Creep and Dre, and welcome to Trey Witch. So I found myself on this... On this thing. Um... I don't know what I found myself on. But, uh... Anyways, yeah, Mothbat, you're welcome. I am doing this just for you. Content warning! This game includes mentions slash depictions of kidnapping, murder, blood, drugging, Cannibalism, child abuse, and addiction. I'm I'm sorry. Okay, uh, we're in for something concerning. Do you know what makes up a witch? They're a bit different from humans, although they often make their form look similar to them. Every witch. Is born from pure magic, more specifically, a sort of magic nucleus. Almost like a pearl, more and more layers of magic build up until a witch can take form. During your witch's childhood, they'll find their magic specialty. Er, uh, that's the thing they're most magically proficient in. It takes less energy for them to do that thing than a normal witch, you see. Magical energy. It isn't infinite. When a witch runs out of magic, they die, letting out a big burst of energy themselves back into the universe. Sort of a life cycle thing, you know? Of course, witches can share magical energy with just about anything. Food, drinks, clothes, accessories, you name it. And they can probably give you a boost. But then the pro but the problem with witches is that we're all selfish. Many people would do whatever it takes to lengthen their lifespans and consume as much energy as possible. You're a woman, you're not a man. Oh well, I'm gonna continue reading in my voice because I said so. So ha, cry about it. That's where I come in. <laughs> the name's... <laughs> the name's inquiry. I'm a detective witch for the Council of Witches. Recently, <laughs> re <laughs> recently, I've been investigating a series of disappearances that I think are the worst, the work of a serial killer. Maybe even a group of them. It's tough work. Interviewing families and witches for clues alone can be a hard on the soul. Recent leads I got, and recent leads I'd got ended up leading me right into a corner too. But despite the chaos of the world I'm in, there's always one place I could have been for a normal scene. Taking a deep breath then, I took a step forward through the doors to a sweet little shop called Charity's Pie Cafe. Once inside, I became engulfed in a feeling of alarm and longing. That's just the effect this place has on you. The calming music provided the perfect peaceful ambience for people to sit and enjoy a nice cup of joe and a slice of the world's most delicious pie. The chairs are always nice, always clean. It was perhaps the only place I was able to actually relax during my free time. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore for- I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto. <laughs> well, hi there, sugar pie. That little lady is a cherry on top. <laughs> Quite literally. Her name is Cherry Pie. Cherry for short. She runs a cafe with an upbeat smile and warm personality. When there was downtime, when there was downtime in the cafe, she would often come over and talk to me with a cheery expression, cheery expression on her face and a slice of pie in her hands. Truly, this gal is something special. Morning, Cherry. Things been slow today. Slow to the snow on a foot race. It's a relief to finally see a friendly face. <laughs> Will you be having a usual slice of pie and coffee today? Heh, <laughs> you know me well. Yes, ma'am. Slaying the usual payment over the countertop. 
sure I made a quick work and making my usual order. So, how's work been treating you? <laughs> Not that great. Ah, uh, that's. Is the case not going well? Got got led straight into another dead end. Every time I think I'm a step closer to figuring out the truth, something pops up and puts me three steps back. Well, that's no good at all. I'm awfully sorry, Inker. <laughs> but I'm, I'm no fancy detective and all. But I'm here if you need to let out your frustrations. You look so tired, you really shouldn't be overworking yourself like this, you know? Charity Pie scolded me, parting two cups of coffee. Just the way we both liked it. Hers, sweet and full of creamer. Mine, with hints of pumpkin spice and cinnamon toast can. Uh, you, you, you worried about me. You worried about me, Cherry? Very much so. I don't know what I'd do without my favorite customer visiting me every day. <laughs> she brought over a tray of our goodies and set them down on my usual table on the counter, far away from all the other empty tables and chairs. Well, there's no need to worry. There's nothing in the world that could stop me from visiting you, no matter how tired this old sword became. And Gus wants out, of course he does. Why well, wouldn't he? Is that a promise? Because if so, I'm holding you to it. That's a promise, Jerry Pie. Sorry, but you're stuck here with me. <laughs> you say like it's a bad thing, hehe. <laughs> Foreshadowing anybody? I'll gladly be stuck here with you any day. Ah, uh, but anyways. Cherry took a long sip of her drink, pushed my cup forwards towards me. That did not work as I intended. What's been happening in your case, if you don't mind me asking? I paused for a moment, staring at the pastry chef in front of me with a puzzled expression. Cherry, you know I'm not supposed to share classified information. The council would kick my arse if I did. But I'm uh, so curious. I can tell it's a really stressing uh, sugar pie. It might be good to talk about it, even with some vague terms. Rolling my temples, I thought about everything I had witnessed, everything I'd endured. Everything. I kept bottled up. Sorry, oh, so long. Fine! But I can't say much. No matter how much or how little, I'm always here to listen. I'm looking for someone. Someone. Who did a lot of bad things. They planted a lot of false clues. A lot of things that are merely placed to waste my time, which it did. God, I'm a really worthless detective. No, you're not. No, no, don't say that. You've got a brilliant mind, Cloudy. Thanks, Cherry. It's, it's just, I think I must, I think it must be related to some sort of group or organization. Everything feels so carefully planned out. Even the smallest of things that could be thought of as a slip up had been planned all along. There are quite a few underground groups of powerful witches. Those witches, they don't exactly follow the rules of the Council of Witches, you see. I took a long sip of my drink, my mind being in the race anxiously with all the possibilities. I see. The Everlasting was always well known for their attention to detail. So it wouldn't be surprising. I didn't mention the Everlasting. Oh, everlasting. The everlasting ever <laughs> everlasting. <laughs> okay. The, Everla the everlasting is a group of is a gang of sorts, typically behind organized crime that often ends deadly. 
The group has been dodging the Council of Witches for centuries. Hmm. There isn't any way, right? Cherry, what do you know? Hello? Keeping my cool, I pretend not to hear her slip up and continuing on with the conversation. Indeed. Shite. I might be able to get some information out of her if I play my cards right. Though honestly, I really don't want to do any work right now. Here's a problem. Ooh, lemons. Interesting. A lemon witch recently has gone miss gone missing. Sources say she was relatively young too. She disappeared last week after an outing in this very town. It's been very troublesome, narrowing down a place, however. There is a chance cherry pie could have had something to do with it. Ironic, two fruit witches involved on opposite sides a potentially deadly crime. Children? Hmm. The grumpy or kids? Look at the grumpy root. Any. Uh, oh, darling, you wouldn't believe it. Some people just don't know how to be polite. Hmph. <laughs> the other day, my little sis brought one of her school friends. Little sis. Little sister? I don't know if she had a little sister. More importantly, though, her sister may have been the same age as the Lemon Witch. It could be possible that they knew each other. I tried so hard to be nice. I really did. But this kid, she just had such a sour attitude. <laughs> I know what you mean. Kids these days are really out of... Uh, I know what you mean. Kids these days really ought to lighten up more. Exactly! Or at least don't... Or at least don't give workers just doing their job weird look and sass for no reason. Hmm. It could the sour attitude. Sounds like a lemon if I ever heard one. Doing anything these past few weeks? I realize most of the time when we come in here, we mostly talk about me. What have you been up to? Aw, oh, that's silly. We talk about me planting. I really can't think of anything exciting. Ah, I even test out this new recipe for a cherry brownie recently. Maybe next time you step by, I could give you a bite. You'll be my little taste tester. Brownie, you say? Hmm. Damn, I'd do anything to eat a cherry brownie right now. That sounds delectable. <laughs> but that information didn't help me at all. <laughs> didn't help me at all. Have you seen anything suspicious? Say, have you seen anything suspicious? Around the area, Cherry, if that's her real name, anything seem safe. <laughs> Goodness me, are you worried about me? Oh, yes, I am, child. I don't care how old you are, I'll call you child because I can, so ha. Huh. <laughs> Maybe I am. Well, now that you mention it, some people I used to see come by haven't been coming as much anymore. Coffee addicts missing their daily cup gets concerning. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. <laughs> oh, do you have any names for anyone you're concerned about? Mm, not off the top of my head, no. But I'm sure it's just me being silly. No need to worry about that. That's what they all say. Damn it. No matter what I do or say, she's just running me back into a corner again. It's something, it's something wrong, sugar pie. No, no, don't worry about it, Jerry. Do you have any boxes or bags or something I can take this out in? Y yeah, but you're leaving already? You didn't even take a bite. Sorry, Jerry, I just, I got a lot on my mind right now. I'll see you again soon, though. Jerry packed away my pie slice. Trying to force a smile. I felt bad, but there's no way I can keep a normal conversation right now. My oh, mind is too clouded with work. Will do. See you later, Cherry. 
She was acting a bit weird just now, wasn't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yes, she was. She was acting weird. That smile. I don't trust it. It's probably just my inner paranoia. Famous last words. Any what? That's an ending? I don't- no, I don't like that. We're doing this again. Do kids come here often? Kids? Where did this come- where did- where did this come from? Well, just figured based on places kids see appearance, thought it would seem to attract more kids. Aha! Uh -huh. I think- I think you would have known by now who likes coming here based on the amount of time you spent here, no? To tell the truth, the only kid I see pretty enough to call a regular kid would be my little sister. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. I didn't know you had a sister. Ah, uh, my little Lottie. She's growing up awfully fast. That I'll say for certain. I'll have to introduce you to. She would I'll have to introduce you to. She would love you. I would love to meet the little lady. <laughs> what school is she in? A little bit creepy, but... Okay. Oh, she just she got accepted into the lottery for for Incantation Academy not too long ago. Really now? <laughs> That's funny. I live right by that school. Really? Well then, maybe I should visit you before picking her up someday. I like that quite a lot actually. Lemon Lemon goes to that school. There's too many coincidences. Did you hear what the Everlasting did yesterday? Uh huh? What did they do? Some jackasses claimed to be with the Everlasting tried robbing one of the council members. This was this wasn't true at all, actually. I just want to see if Cherry would have any sort of strange reaction. Call the hunter, suppose. Cherry, not feeling the disappoint. Literally, she was about to choke on her own drink. <laughs> but really. You gotta be kidding. To do something like that? She took a deep breath in. That's just horrible, awful. Did anyone get hurt? Thankfully, no. They imprisoned the sucker behind it, though. Chair looked like she was about to say something, but quickly closed her mouth. I've picked up one thing about Cherry, is that she wasn't much for hesitating. Something here is obviously wrong. What did you do, woman? Damn it. No, what I do is say it's just me back into a corner again. There's something that around sugar pie. No, no, don't worry about it. Do you have any bucks something I can take this out in? Yeah, but really, we're already just need to take a bite. Sorry, I just got a lot of money down, though. She was acting a bit weird just now, wasn't she? Yes. It's like just... Oh, for crying out loud. Why? But it just keeps leading me to the same thing over and over and over and over. Okay, I'll figure this out in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! My headphones have been unplugged this whole time. My headphones have been unplugged. This entire time. Take two, anybody.